in the name of my ancestors peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the realities temple on earth internet ministry I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program known here on social media wherever you may find me I am known as the mighty, 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 mm. angel snub nub seven, I am your soul brother, number one, I'm tired, I'm not going to lie to you, I am tired, this fight that I have been in since 2007, I'm tired, I'm worn out, and since my surgery of last year, more energy has been taken away from me. I'm the vigor, the strength that I used to have, I just don't have no more. This fight. Those of you who are content creators, many of you can understand where I'm coming from. It's not easy making videos. Content creators, a lot of us, we put our heart, we put our soul, we put our everything into this content. It makes no difference if you agree or disagree with a content creator Many people, their uh, editing skills is amazing. I've seen some videos where it looks like you're watching a movie. The editing skills is on a level where they actually can compete with the large corporations, uh, uh, movie places. Y'all have some incredible skill. I wish I had those type of skills. But we make content. And so back in 2007, I did not want to be like everybody else. In fact, because of my experience, I was no longer like everybody else. And my purpose was just to listen to the different various pro-black, pan-African type uh, videos. But then I created what we call now the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry to express who I am. And I wondered was there people like myself out here in the universe? And it seems there are. But I was very happy because I was told throughout the years that people are interested in the truth. They are interested in reality. So here I am, the Realities Temple on Earth, and I am on this self-appointed mission to bring us reality. 
to the best of our ability. Facts to the best of our ability. And all these people talking about the truth. We want the truth. Come to find out they're not interested in truth. They cannot handle reality. So on this journey, trying to bring us reality, throughout the years I have suffered death threats. There are those who uh, want to kill and they ask and pray for the death and the murder of Angel Snub Nub 7. Because I express the truth, my videos get flagged, and you spend time and effort. There are those who are jealous and envious that I was able to be so prolific and put video after video after video. You and all those videos. Because I have something new. Because I have something original to say. And a lot to say. A lot to express. And so there's jealousy and envy. Because what most of these bring to the table. Is the same old, same old. Plagiarizing from the Bible. Quoting from the Bible. Talking about. History that's 5,000 years old. What happened in 1930. The same recycled stuff just over and over again. That is doing nothing. To change our condition. Nothing to make us a better individual. Nothing. As a content creator you also know. That not only is your content under critique but persons who really cannot debunk what you say then they attack the messenger and if you notice the attack is always on Angel Snub Nub 7 as a person you do not see videos you don't see them going out of their way to debunk to attack the content that this creator has created. Angel Snub Nub 7 is insane. Angel Snub Nub 7 is old. Angel Snub Nub 7 is sick. It's always a personal attack. Never an attempt to debunk, to show the error and the flaw. In the content. That's why we're here. It's not about. What my nose look like. I don't have any hair. I'm wearing an old. Sports jersey. It's the content. But most content creators. As you know. These persons are weak. So they cannot debunk, they cannot destroy your content. So they attack the messenger. And you are failing in that because you don't really know the messenger. And in my case, even the corporation Google gets involved. So we have had over 100 channels terminated. So I'm tired. This is a constant fight. A constant fight to bring reality since 2007. We are like the salmon trying to go up the river. All these other ideas are no threats. That's why they don't have no real problem. They're not any threat to nobody.
But for us who are a threat, then we find ourselves like the salmon. Surrounded by predators that want to eat us. On top of that, we have to swim up. Not down. We have to swim up stream. And it's tiring. Have we ever watched those nature programs and watched the salmon? It's tiring. So I'm tired. But the thing about a salmon is they don't give up. With all the predators and the actual environment against them as they swim up the river they continue to fight they continue to jump over the rocks jump over the bear they keep moving so I must move I'm tired but I I must move these other things Pan-Africanism Hebrew-Israelite Moors Christianity Islam all these other things have been around for generations. Angel Snub Nub 7, the Realities Temple, this is what we represent, only been around since 2007. So it's a uphill battle. But I must stay strong. It's frustrating and I get tired, but I have to stay strong because there's a child like myself. I wish there was somebody like me. I could have listened to as a child. So I would not have got caught up in all this religion and pan-Africanism and all this blackety black stuff. And I wish there was somebody like me. Waste my life. Wasted 45 years. And all this stuff that has done nothing for me as an individual, it continues to do nothing for us. The church does nothing for us. These religious factions do nothing for us. All this pro-blackness and all this black history and Afrocentric stuff, it has done nothing for the people. But they are the ones because they have a, a lead in the race. And they have led us nowhere. So there's also envy and jealousy. What you got? I'm not here to destroy. What is that um, that they say in the Bible about Jesus Jesus was telling them I'm not here to like de de degrade or make mockery of Moses I'm here to bring or add or make better bring you a, a better understanding of Moses and that's what we're here we're not here to destroy your church we're not here to destroy your, your belief in nothing. We're just here to bring us the reality of things. Show you how to organize yourself. Bring a better understanding of what you believe. So that you and I can progress. The reality's temple on earth is not your enemy. The reality's temple on earth is your friend. That represents soul. And soul is life. And that's what we're here. Bringing life. To those who have lost it.